Hi everyone, this is my colour wheel granny square. I just thought I'd show you how I start off this granny square. Um, this first round can be a little fiddly. We are doing a magic circle and we're colour changing. So I just thought I'd give you a quick um, video on how I do that. So I'm going to start off with our red. I'm going to do a magic circle. Wrap around my hand, pull through that second strand. And then I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. Now I'm going to do my first treble crochet. We're going to do 12 treble crochet, which that includes that first chain stitch into this loop. And to make things even more tricky, we're going to only do two of each color. So this is my second red because that first chain three is our first treble crochet and I'm going to stop there the last part of the treble crochet because I'm now going to bring in my new colour. So I'm going to grab yellow, no, orange is next, now rainbow, grab the end and, and pull that through. That completes that first treble crochet there ready to start the next one in a new colour. Now this is going to get fiddly, we're going to have a lot of ends of yarn and it will look messy but work with this first round and the next the consecutive rounds are a lot easier. So we're going to do our next treble crochet into the loop, or magic ring or magic circle, whatever you want to call it. Number one for orange and the second one don't complete it. Bring in the next colour. Yellow. I think I've got my colours in the right order now. Bring that through. Right. I'm going to continue doing two of each colour. Get that. Until we've got 12. Just go into the loop. We don't need to carry on any colours with you, they're just all gonna be at the back waiting for you every, on each round. One and two, there we go, whoops, three, okay, bring in our green. Next treble crochet in green one and two. Don't finish it, leave it there. Bring in our blue. Okay, you see it is looking quite messy, but it's okay. You can pull on some of these ends just to tighten that all up. You'll see in a minute, it will look neat when it's all pulled together. So, blue. And second one in blue. And don't finish it, bring in our last colour. Next one. Might need to bunch them up together as well along this magic circle before it's pulled in together. Two. I'm going to leave that one there. That last purple one, I'm going to leave it just before the colour change because I do want to go back to red, but the red's all the way over here at the moment, so we're going to pull it together first. So put any loose ends just to tighten that all up make sure they're all together bunch them up now we're going to find the tail end of the red that we started with so you'll have two strands here one 
of them will be the end. Here we go. Hold the stitches in this hand, make sure they're all straight, they're not twisted, and then just gently start to pull on this here and keep pulling, keeping those stitches all straight. There we go. Now you can see how much neater it looks. We've pulled it together. So we still need to finish off this treble crochet here. Let's put on that purple end. And don't use this tail end we just pulled. Find the other end of the red. It's very confusing because we've got so many ends here now. So, no, that's green. Here we go. We'll get it in a minute. Right, there we go. Red. I'm going to finish that last treble crochet off with the red and then we're going to join that to the top of the chain three in, that we initially did in the beginning. So I'm going to set my hook into the top of that chain three and do a slip stitch and that finishes it off. If we didn't do that colour change that would be purple and that would be running into our red colour. Now then you're going to have a lot of ends but we're not going to cut them each time we're gonna and we're not gonna carry them on we're just gonna leave them hanging out the back here and um, what that looks like at the end of there you also have a lot of little trails of color but it does mean that you don't have to sew all the ends in if you're gonna cut each time um, I don't think it matters too much depends how you're using it really 